I just want to say, what a beautiful couple. I love you both. Today we start another new beginning as Amber and Nate start a new family. Like me, they were probably filled with the feeling of being overwhelmed at all this. Yeah. These feelings will melt away as they begin their new life together. And that will stand the test of time. Amber, we have had two first dates in our love story. Glad the second one went better than the first. Even though you wanted me all along. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you in the friend zone for so many years. I knew, I knew I loved you from early on and I could tell the feeling was mutual. I prayed for a man like you. Passionate, kind, selfless, handsome. And little did I know, my cute friend Nate was the answer to my heart's desires and prayers. I just had to let you out of the friend zone first. <laughs> everything I'm so lucky to have not just like an amazing sister but like we're absolutely best friends um, you know when people say like yeah you can't tell anyone it's like okay well, but you can always tell your sister so I'm just so lucky to have such an amazing sister and honestly I'm like so stoked to have an amazing brother-in-law growing up all I wanted was to be like my big brother and uh, <laughs> 33 years later, he is still one of the best men that I know. <laughs> and if you know him, if you're here, then you know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Whew. He is fiercely loyal to his friends and his family. And like Amber, when he sets his mind to something, he's going to accomplish it no matter what. Um, and like Amber, you have a very strong exterior and a very tender heart. And that is why I think you guys are perfect together, because you bring that out in each other. You're my world, and I'm truly blessed to be a part of your life, which as of today becomes our life together. You make me want to be the best version of myself, you believe in me and have stuck by me through the good, the bad, the wedding planning, and replanning. I'm so happy this day has finally come. I promise to stand by you in life's most joyous moments and walk beside you when life is difficult. You know, marriage is like a bird, uh, marks a new beginning. Uh, I was truly blessed the day Amber was born. Uh, I'm honored to be her father. It's amazing to see that tiny little baby girl uh, used to take naps on my chest. Now she's a grown up, beautiful woman. The two of you, be true to each other always. Share your joys, share your burdens. Love much? Love much, laugh much, be each other's best friend. Here, let me see that. You have made me a better man in many ways, and I vow to be the best husband. You're absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe I'm marrying someone so beautiful. Looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you and our many adventures ahead. 
I vow to always love you and unconditionally, even during your craziness. <laughs> I vow my love for you will be unending. I pray for God's hand on this marriage that we will always have patience, passion, and unconditional love for each other. Uh, Nate and Amber, uh, I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of this moment. I'm very happy for the both of you. To be honest, many of us didn't know if Nate would ever get here. So Amber, thank you for that. Um, uh, but this is huge. Don't stop being curious about each other. Don't stop admiring each other. Don't stop chasing new ways to deepen and strengthen your love. Nate, as your friend, I challenge you um, to take your princess, to take your wife on a grand adventure that lasts for the rest of your lives. Go on an adventure, create an adventure together and continually go on uh, and go and explore and be wild together. I promise to support you and encourage you. I promise to be kind, patient, and forgiving. And I promise to honor your passion for hockey. Mm. <laughs> That's what I look for most. I'm so proud that today, in front of our incredible family and friends, I become your wife. I love you. We love you.